Hello, my name is Pete Arthur, and I'm the Technical Training Manager for Control Techniques Americas. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use our Connect Drive Commissioning software to upgrade firmware. So if you're ready, let's get started. Before we begin, there's a couple things I'd like to point out. First of all, the drive that you are upgrading needs to be disabled. That means the safe torque off contact must be open. Next, to communicate with the drive, you can use either our AI-485 serial communication adapter and a CT-USB serial cable, or you may also connect directly to the built-in ethernet ports on the drive itself. Do not attempt to communicate to the drive through the ports on an SI Ethernet module or an MCI-210 control module during the upgrade. Finally, the computer you're using must be plugged in to a power supply. You do not want to interrupt this process once it has begun. So let's see how the process works. Firmware for our products can be freely downloaded from our website. Our website is located at controltechniques.us. From here, go to the download section and choose firmware. You'll need to create a login if you don't have one already. So if you've not gotten a login, you click here to set up your login. I'll go ahead and log in using my email address. And then log in. So as I scroll down, you'll see all of the firmware for our various products. What I'm looking for is firmware for the SIIO module. So I'm going to scroll down until I see that entry. And here we are. SIIO firmware. I'll click download. And you'll want to store this in a convenient location, so I'm going to keep it on my desktop. The download is complete. Now let's see how to use Connect software to update the firmware in my SIIO module. I'm ready to update the firmware in my SIIO module. As you can see, I have a project started in Connect software. The upgrade process must be performed online. So I'm going to begin by connecting to the drive. And then the icon to change the firmware is located up here, right here, change firmware. So I'll select that. And what you're presented with here is a listing of all of the hardware that is eligible for upgrade. So as you can see, here's my Unidrive M702 host drive. There is the built-in Ethernet port on the Unidrive M702. And here is the SIIO module in slot 3. This is what I am going to be upgrading. And you can also see that it presents me with the current version of firmware for this module. So I will begin by checking the device I would like to update. Then I'm going to come down and browse for the firmware that I just downloaded. So I will check that. And I'd stored that on my desktop. So I will go back to the desktop. Here is the image file that I'm going to be using, version 2050114. So I'll click Open. Notice down here, Parameter Restore. This process begins by the software uploading all of the contents or the settings of not only the SIIO module, 
but also the factory fit ethernet port and the drive itself. So what this is asking is restore parameter after firmware update has completed. So in most cases, you're going to want to leave that checked so you don't lose any of your settings. So now that I've done that, I'll click next. Now, you're always shown this warning, don't remove power. As I mentioned earlier, you do not want to interrupt this process. Uh, if you do, you could end up with an inoperable device. So make sure that your computer is plugged in and do not interrupt this once it's started. So to begin, it's a simple matter of clicking Start Download. Now this process does take some time. So I'm going to be speeding up this process until we get closer to the end. And you can see what it's keeping track of what steps it's on right here. Right now it is in fact loading the firmware. Now this is the part that you need to be very careful about. This green indicator part will go all the way to the end and you might think that it is finished, but in fact it is not. Okay, at this point I'm going to be speeding up the clip. Okay, at this point the firmware has been loaded. The parameters have been restored, as you can see there. And now that I see download complete, that is my indication that in fact the process has been completed and now I can click close to finish the procedure. And I'll just double check. We'll go back now and look at the properties for my slot 3 SIIO. And I've got the properties tab highlighted down here. And it shows me the updated firmware right there. Thank you for watching today's video. And as always, thank you for choosing Control Techniques.